Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to design a digital circuit which converts the binary code to BCD code. So let's get started. Let's take a binary number 11000. So to convert it to BCD first this number you have to convert it in decimal number okay so its decimal number will be 1 2 4 8 16 this 3 are 0 16 plus 8 equal to 24 it is in decimal after that you have to write it here the binary number of 4 is 0 1 0 0 and in binary 2 means 0 0 1 0 so just write it together 1 0 0 1 0 0 this is in BCD let's see another example let's say we have a 4 bit binary number 1 1 1 0 and its decimal is 14 now we have to write it separately 1 4 ok then we have to write its binary number 0 1 0 0 1 means triple zero 1 now write it together and no need to write these three zeros so it will be 1 0 1 0 0 this is in BCD ok in the practical circuit we will see up to 4 bit binary number now see all the 4 bit binary number from 0 0 0 0 next will be 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 this is up to 4 bit binary number ok and we'll write its decimal equivalent up to 9 BCD code is same as binary number ok from 10 it is 1 0 so first we have to write 1 then 0 1 1 1 1 1 2 1 this is 2 1 3 1 0 0 1 1 it is 3 1 4 1 4 1 5 1 0 1 0 1 ok so up to 4 bit by 9 number we have got the BCD code and these are all zeros ok now name it it is LSB I am naming it as B0 then B1 B2 and the MSB B3 ok and for BCD I am naming it as A B C D E E means this column D means this one and A means the first one ok now from this we have to make our K map as the input is in 4 bit so 4 bit means how many cells we need 2 to the power n here n equal to 4 so 2 to the power 4 equal to 16 we need 16 cell in K map now write all the mean term here A equal to summation of mean term m now see 0 0 from 10 onwards it is 1 ok 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 10 11 12 13 14 15 b equal to summation of what is the mean term for b only 8 and 9 rest are the 0 so 8 9 C equal to summation of it is 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 sorry 4 5 6 7 and then 14 and 15 14 and 15 D equal to summation of M 2 3 
सिक्स सेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन ओके ई इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ मीन टर्म ऑल द ऑट प्लेसेस इट मीन्स वन थ्री फाइव ओके वन थ्री फाइव सेवन लाइक दिस वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन थर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन सो वी हैव गोट आवर ऑल द फंक्शन नाउ वी कैन मेक के मेप नाउ मेक के मेप फॉर ए एज वी हैव फोर वेरिएबल बी नॉट बी वन बी टू एंड बी थ्री सो बी थ्री बी टू बी वन बी जीरो इट इज जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो हेयर ऑल्सो जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवेन टुवेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सो टेन इलेवेन टुवेल्व टेन इलेवेन टुवेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन अदर्स अ जीरो ओके नाउ मेक ग्रुप्स हेयर वी हैव वन ग्रुप एनदर दिस वन सो वी कैन राइट ए इक्वल टू फर्स्ट सी दिस ग्रुप ओनली बी थ्री एंड बी टू आर कॉमन एंड अदर्स आर नॉट कॉमन सो बी थ्री बी टू plus and for this group we have common here uh, this two one so b3 and this side only b1 is common okay b0 is 1 and 0 so b1 is common b1 so this is our a now do it for b b equal to 8 and 9 so only 8 and 9 8 and 9 okay rest of the zero so i'm not writing all the zeros only making this two groups now here we can write from this group b equal to for this group 1 and 0 is common in this side so b3 0 is common so b2 bar and the top side this zero is common so b1 bar okay make it for c t equal to 45678 and 15 14 and 15 and others are zero so make it here is one group and another group is here okay c equal to for c b3 is common but it is zero so b3 bar b2 and top side there is no common okay now let's see the second group plus One one, it means B two is common, and the top side B one is common. Okay, now make the KMF for D. D, two three six seven, two three six seven, twelve thirteen, twelve thirteen. Here also we have two groups. Here is one group. This one, another. From this, we can write d equal to. In this group, this one one is common, so b three, b two. And in the top side, the zero is common. Zero means b one bar plus. From this group, here zero is common, so b three bar. 
and in the top side 1 is common so b1 okay now for e e equal to 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 okay so 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 and others are 0 so e equal to in this side there is no common okay and in top side only one is common so b naught is common e equal to b naught okay now write down all the functions here a equal to b3 b2 plus b3 b1 b equal to b3 b2 bar b1 bar c equal to b3 bar b2 plus b2 b1 d equal to b3 b2 b1 bar plus b3 bar b1 e equal to b naught okay now from this boolean expression we can get our logic gate circuit in the last video I have explained how to convert this boolean expression to the logic gates now see here as we have inputs of 4 bit binary number these are b3 b2 b1 and b0 or b0 okay draw a line now see all this expression we have also the complement of b3 so draw this not get we also have complement of b2 complement of b1 we do not have complement of b0 okay so no need to draw here now draw these three lines okay now see first expression here b3 dot b2 b3 it means this one b3 and b2 these both are combined with AND gate ok b3 dot b1 b3 dot b1 and then we have a OR gate in between this so draw this OR gate this is our A this line here it is b3 ok and next is complement of b2 complement of b2 this one and complement of b1 and these three are combined with AND gate it is three input AND gate and this is our b ok now C complement of B3 complement of B3 B2 these both are combined with AND gate plus B2 dot B1 B2 B1 these both is combined with OR gate this is our C next D B3 B2 complement of B1 these three are combined with 3 input AND gate we have another term complement of B3 b1 this both is combined with 
an OR gate. This is our D. And last we have E, B naught. This is our E. Okay. So this four is four bit binary input, and A B C D E is output in B C D code. Okay. Now see here. In the output, we will connect one LED, and then it is connected to ground. The value is two twenty ohms. Okay. So whenever this output is activated, this LED will glow. And rest of the output also we have to do this. And in the input side, now see here. As we have inputs B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay, these are our inputs. Now, to provide inputs to the logic gates, we'll apply 5 volt to it with a switch. So, here is our switch. Okay, so this is. Now, this point is this point, okay? Now, from here, we have all the knots we have all the knot gates like this so I'm not going to focus on this I'm going to focus on the input side here what you have to do is after the switch connect one resistor then connect it to the ground it is pull down resistor so whenever the switch is off this resistor will keep this point as logic low so whenever uh, this switch is turned on this point will be logic high ok this is important we have to connect to all this it is 10k it should be after the switch ok not before the switch ok then you can connect another resistor and one LED and it is connected to ground okay this value is 220 ohms this will be the same for all the inputs okay like this so after this only this input will be start this one b3 b2 b1 b0 okay clear the resistor connected with leds are 220 ohms and this resistor are 10 kilo ohms the pull down resistors ok this will be our binary inputs and these 5 are BCD outputs in this circuit the NOT gate I am going to use is 7404 the AND gate is 7408 and the OR gate is 7432 I have explained these 3 IC in my previous video and how to connect this thing on the breadboard I have explained in that videos so this IC we need one piece this IC we need three pieces and this IC we need one piece now start the connection put B3 B2 B1 and B0 ok this will be our four inputs connect its middle pin to the plus VCC for all the switches you can connect any other type of switch I am connecting this type ok it is connected now connect 220 ohm resistor to other side of the switch and here we can connect our LEDs the cathode side of the LED is connected to ground this one will be our B3 B2 B1 B0 ok B0 B1 B2 B3 now put the NOT gate here is our IC 7404 pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC pin number 7 is connected to ground both the negative rail is connected and also the positive rail now see one thing carefully in this circuit we have total of 7 lines ok like this 
for the inputs. So what I'll do is I'll use these rails for these lines. Okay. So this rail will be B3. This rail will be complement of B3. This rail will be B2. This will be complement of B2. And this will be B1. This will be complement of B1. And this rail will be B0. Okay. So I'll use these seven rails for these seven lines. This B3, the other pin of the switch is connected to pin number 1 of the NOT gate. As this one is B3, so this will be connected to here. Now this rail is B3 and this will be our complement of B3. This is pin number 2. The other pin of the switch, this one is B2 and it is connected to pin number 3. Again, this pin number 3 is connected to B2 rail. Pin number 4 is complement of B2, so it is connected to this rail. Now it is B1 and it is connected to pin number 5. Again, the pin number 5 is connected to B1 rail. And pin number 6 is connected to complement of B1 rail. And this one is B0 and B0 is connected to this rail. Okay. So this is how we have connected our rails. Now it will be easier for us to connect all the logic gates. Here is our another breadboard. Here I am putting the AND gate 1, 7408. Again the 7408. We need 3 of them. And at last we need OR gate. This is 7432. Now see the circuit diagram. To minimize the confusion to connect on breadboard, just number the ICs. Okay. So this is our AND gate, AND gate 1. This two also. As we know, 7408 having 4 AND gate, so we need another one. This one will be AND gate 2. Okay. And I will connect another 7408 to make 3 input AND gate. So this one will be 3 input AND gate. And it is IC number 3. So this is why we need 3 pieces of 7408. And in the 7404 we have 6 NOT gate. So one piece of 7404 is enough. And in the IC 7432 we have 4 OR gate. In this circuit we need 3 of them. So only one piece of 7432 is enough. Now let's see the pin diagram of IC 7404. It is NOT gate IC. In this circuit we need 3 NOT gate. So here it is pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And 7 is for ground and pin number 14 is for plus VCC. Now see this circuit. I will take this 3 NOT gate for this circuit. Okay. So input of the NOT gate is pin number 1 and output is pin number 2. And for second NOT gate, pin number 3, pin number 4. For the third one, I'll take pin number 5 here, pin number 6. Okay. So these are the pin numbers for NOT gate. Now we'll see AND gate. This is the pin diagram of AND gate IC 7408. Here it is pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is ground. Pin number 14 is for plus VCC. And we need all four gates, okay? So pin number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. For the first AND gate, I'll take this one. Pin number 1 and 2 are the inputs. Pin number 1, 2. And 3 is the output. For this AND gate, I'll take this one. Pin number 4 and 5. And this pin number 6. It is output. Pin number 8 is output. Pin number 9 and 10 are the inputs of third AND gate, 9 and 10. The fourth one, pin number 11 is the output and 12 and 13 are the input for this AND gate. Here it is 12, 13. Okay. And for this AND gate, I'll take another IC and 
I'll use this AND gate and pin number 1, 2 and 3 is the output. Now come to the 3 input AND gate. As 7408 is 2 input AND gate, I'll make this 3 input AND gate by combining these two gates. To make this, connect its output to another input. Okay, Pin number 3 and 4, you have to connect it. Then it will be our first input input 1, it will be our input 2 and pin number 5 will be our input 3 ok and pin number 6 is the output same we have to connect pin number 11 and 10 so it will be our input 1 it will be our input 2 and pin number 9 will be input 3 and the final output will be pin number 8 for this 3 input I will combine this two gate. So here, uh, so for this gate, pin number 1, 2, pin number 1, 2 and 5 are the input and pin number 6 is output. And for this, pin number 13, 12 and 9 are the inputs. Pin number 13, 12 and, and 9 are the input and pin number 8 is output ok 13 12 and 9 so pin number of AND gate is completed now see the OR gates and in the breadboard we have to connect these two then only it will work as a 3 input AND gate ok this is the OR gate IC 7432 here is pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is the ground, pin number 8, 9, 10 and pin number 14. As we need 3 OR gates, this, this and this one, so I'll use these 3 gates, ok. Pin number 1 and 2 are the input for this gate, so pin number 1, 2 and 3 is the output. Same here, 4 and 5 are the input, 6 is the output. And for this gate, pin number 9 and 10 are the input, pin number 9 and 10 and 8 is the output of this gate, ok. Now if you need this circuit then post the video and copy this, ok. Now let's see the breadboard connection. As we have put it the IC, this one and gate IC. 7408 and this one 7432 this one IC1, IC2 and IC3 according to the circuit diagram now connect pin number 14 to plus VCC for all the IC and this plus VCC rail should connect this positive rail pin number 7 is connected to ground ground and plus VCC is connected this is the first 7408 and its pin number 1 is connected to B3 yeah this one our B3 rail pin number 2 is connected to B2 its pin number 3 is connected to pin number 1 of OR gate its pin number 4 is connected to B3 its pin number 5 is connected to B1. Its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 2 of the OR gate. Its pin number 9 is connected to complement of B3. This rail. Pin number 10 is connected to B2. Pin number 8 is connected to pin number 4 of OR gate. Pin number 12 of this IC is connected to B2. Pin number 13 of this IC is connected to B1 and pin number 11 is connected to pin number 5 of OR gate IC. Its pin number 1, its pin number 1 is connected to complement of B3. Its pin number 2, its pin number 2 is connected to B1. Its pin number 3 is connected to pin number 10 of OR gate so 
this two IC connection is completed now come to this IC it means three input and get its pin number one is connected to B3 pin number two is connected to pin number two is connected to complement of B2 pin number five is connected to complement of B1 and to make it three input and get we have to connect pin number three and four together three and four together okay so one side is completed now come to the other side pin number 13 is connected to B3 pin number 12 is connected to B2 pin number 9 pin number 9 is connected to complement of B1 and to make 3 input and get we have to connect pin number 10 and 11 pin number 10 and 11 both are connected together okay so all the logic gets connection is completed now come to output part so I'll put the output LEDs here okay and we'll complete all the output connections from the OR gate and the AND gate okay now put all the five output LEDs here is the first one cathode of the LED is connected to ground put it now connect 220 ohm resistor to it connected now this one is A this one is B C D and E okay and connect this ground rail to this ground rail okay LED A is connected to pin number 3 of OR gate LED B is connected to pin number 6 of IC3 LED C LED C is connected to pin number 6 of OR gate here is the pin number 6 LED D is connected to pin number 8 of OR gate and one more connection is there pin number 8 of third IC is connected to pin number 9 of OR gate ok and LED E it means this one is connected to B0 it is B0 ok so whole connection is completed only the pull down resistors are not connected now I am connecting this resistor also after the switch we have to connect it to ground so for this switch I am connecting it here for this switch after this switch I can connect it here to the input of the NOT gate this connection also be ok same connection only whether you connect it here or here anyhow it is after the switch only and before the gate ok and this connection is connected to pin number 5 of NOT gate it is ok connected the fourth pull down resistor it is directly connected to here so I am connecting this resistor here because there is no place and this resistor again I am taking it to ground all the negative rails are connected all the positive rail also here it is not connected this negative rail is connected to this this positive rail is connected to this positive rail ok connect the power supply here I am connecting the positive and negative ok so here are the outputs and here is the input ok see this uh, this is the binary input as we have already discussed the, and these are the BCD code now check it any number uh, let's say uh, 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 its output should be 0 0 1 0 0 ok 
check it for 10 one zero one zero it is one zero one zero so its output is one zero 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 for eleven it is one zero one 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 zero one one see one zero 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 one one zero 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 one let's say thirteen one one zero one thirteen means one one zero one its output should be one zero zero one 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 zero zero one one for fifteen all one and its output will be one zero one zero one okay so our circuit is working for fourteen just do it here see is working only one zero one 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 zero one one it is one zero 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 one okay guys so this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you how to design bcd to seven segment display with kmap okay and i'll show you this type of practical circuit also okay so i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching.